All right, let me take y'all on a tour of my chicken coops and chicken runs here. Uh, kind of added on to them over the years. They're kind of hodgepodge, but uh, they still work. This is the most recent run that I've built. Got my uh, rat proof uh, feeder there. And this is a pull it shut chicken door. These are, uh, are indispensable if you don't want to lose uh, hens to uh, possums in the middle of the night. And this right here, oops, I'm stripped diapers out of there, whoa. <laughs> All right, this right here is the uh, second uh, uh, coop that I built. Wish I'd done something a little bit different because uh, although it's easy, uh oh, it's easy to get to the, uh, <laughs> what's you girls doing? It's easy to get to the eggs. It's a little difficult to, to clean it. Because my trays are right down there. Those pull out. And I tell you the truth, I wish I'd made uh, just one long one kind of pull out from the side make it a lot easier but um, this one was still an improvement over my first one all right so this is my first one and it's a, a walk-in run and coop we've got another wrap proof feeder and a pull it shut chicken door and I got a little hatch there. I put this down to keep the raccoons out at night because they uh, I've been visited by a raccoon and uh, I think they're getting into the food. But uh, anyway, that's the inside. And here is the, the back side where I collect the eggs. Oop, see, that's where they lay. All right, go back to laying girls. So I guess you would call this the main entrance here. This is the, the last run that I built. I just kept expanding because my flock expanded. Uh, I think I've got a chicken problem. I mean, they can get addictive, you know, raising them and seeing how they turn out. But most of these are French black copper morans. And I got some uh, speckled Sussex there, the brown ones with the white specks. Those are pretty. I got my one uh, Easter egger here. She's still laying well and she's real real friendly. I've got my French black copper moran rooster who's uh, lost his feathers and I've got a couple of these uh, cuckoo morans. Excuse me. And let's see. I got two. Uh, come on. I always let him go in first because uh, if I go in first I think he uh, doesn't like that any attacks but anyway so i got a uh, light well yeah light sussex there another light sussex there with uh a uh sour crop that i just can't i can't fix so she seems to be doing okay but man she looks like dolly pardon and here is uh i'll show you my watering setup here All right, so this is a half of a plastic drum, and we got a toilet float in there for the water level. And I got two of these gravity uh, waterers here. And so this uh, PVC comes out of the barrel. I got it running along the ground here. Excuse me. Here's the first one on this run. And I've got them all the way down there. At the very end, I've got a drain in case we ever get a hard freeze in the Northwest Florida. It's rare, but every once in a while we do. And I got another branch of three over here inside the main run. And it's real easy to find the level because you know, water finds or seeks level. So all you gotta do is just run it and raise it and lower it until the 
Oh, the cups are. All the cups are at the uh, same height. But anyway, that's it. What does that mean, Maddie?